Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be checking out some FPS mods in Crunker.io. Now if you guys go to the mods section, as you can see there is mods like the best FPS, and we scroll down, best FPS boost. So many mods claim to go and increase your FPS in Crunker.io, and today we're going to check them out. However, one thing that most definitely will increase your FPS is Brave Browser, by far the best way to play Crunker.io. I've been using Brave for about two or so years and it's my favorite browser to play Crunker.io in. All you need to do is click the link in the description below, go and download it, and not only will you get a better experience playing Crunker, but you also massively, massively support the channel. So a big, big thank you to anybody that downloads Brave, and tell me in the comment section below what you think about it. But with that said, my friends, let's get straight into it and check out those FPS mods. And as you can see, let's just go for the first one on the screen right here. The best FPS by Banano SF. It has 540 likes. It's on the hot page. People are downloading it. So let's go and check it out and see if it's worthwhile trying. All right, we've got the Trigger Man equipped. We're on free for all Sub Zero. Let's go and hop in and check it out. And as you can see, the game the game automatically looks a lot, lot different. We've got those smooth textures that we've seen with quite a lot of mods, but with this one, we also have uh, much darker walls, much brighter boxes, an Iron Sight mod, a Sound mod as well. So it's not just supposedly high FPS, but also you get a bit of an experience as well. So I'm gonna go and try to take out a few people, slide hop around the map. And from first impressions, I can't really tell if there is a bit of an FPS increase. Maybe maybe a few, maybe 10 or so frames, but overall it's a bit difficult than, uh, to notice. One thing I will say is that this video isn't going to be like a scientific, you know, experiment trying to go and track how much FPS exactly you go and gain. This is just going to be me trying them out, commenting on the looks, commenting on the additions, like the Iron Sight mod for this one, and overall what these FPS mods offer. All right, we've got the semi-auto playing a little bit of free-for-all little town, and I thought, hey, let's go and bring out this weapon because it's something a little bit different, not really a weapon that I bring out a lot of the time. And also, did you hear those quake sounds? That's pretty cool. While I am getting slightly higher FPS than normal, it's not its not really anything to ride home about. It's not really that significant, maybe 1% increase. And I've looked at some previous studies of this and that's generally the consensus. All right, guys, we're playing as a Trigger Man, AK Immortal skin equipped. And the next mod we're gonna go and check out is the Zussia FPS Boost mod by Zussia. So it says best FPS boost, silence and smooth, and it has almost 2000 ratings. So let's go and check it out. All right, so hopping in here, the most obvious change is, of course, the smooth textures. We've got the silent sounds. We've got a nice sound change as well. And the fact I can't jump as well. All right, trolling aside, let's actually get straight into it, man. The mortal skin looks so, so cool on this map. It's definitely one of my favorite skins in the game. And when you combine it with a cool map like this, it works really well really well and just having a look around we've got the uh, banner changes as well you know changing it from the default promoting his twitch and youtube and all that hey i i respect the hustle i think these uh fences are also changed i think they were instead of you know chain link fences we've got this uh transparency right here which is pretty cool i actually like this design better than the normal one to be honest all right free for all undergrowth my favorite favorite map in the game let's go and potentially drop a nuke i'd love to go and get a nuke in this video and as you can see, man, this, uh, with Free For All Undergrowth, the colors are definitely, uh, a lot, uh, a lot duller than they normally are. Usually this map is super, super vibrant, but with this map, it goes and tones down the textures, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's definitely a little a bit different. And oh man, this guy gonna come through here as well. There we go to three piece. Let's keep it going. There's another guy surely around this corner. But as you can see, we've got the black objects and the purple box and all that. And I've tried this mod on like Sub-Zero as well. And it has those black walls, those black building walls that we were talking about with the previous mod. So it seems like this mod is simply the one that we tried before with a few sound changes, which is a little, a little bit weird. Like they are claiming the same thing, I suppose, but... Overall, they are very, very similar indeed. And that's the thing with Crunker, you can just go and take a mod, slightly change it a bit, and just upload it on the store. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing that, but it'd be uh, quite interesting to see who is like the original maker of this mod, because overall, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the box textures and the walls, they are very basically identical between the last two that were just checked out. And I am on a 17 kill streak me just jumping around here so i think it's maybe time to go and drop a nuke oh my god i am so low 14 hp 
I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna gun it. I'm just gonna gun it. We've got six kills left in 50 seconds. I think it's possible to drop that nuke. I just need to keep these kills up. All right, one guy's gonna be in this corner here. Oh, he is there, but he uh, didn't come out of his hidey hole. Five more kills in 40 seconds. Can we go and do it? Can we go and drop that nuke? Okay, one guy here. Yep, yep, yep. We're on track. We're on track. One guy there. We go nice and low. That's another one. And that's that was the nuke. Okay, that was the nuke. I didn't even realize it. We're getting too many kills too quickly. That is so good. A nuke in this video, man. We've, you know, the 21 kill curse is dead. We are dropping nukes easy peasy. And hey, may, maybe it's the mod. Maybe it's the mod that's given me a bit of an advantage. Who knows? But I have to say, man, 30 kill streak right now. 11 seconds left. I'm just hopping around the map. Let's go. Come on. There's another person surely around here. Uh, come on. Where are you, buddy? Give me another kill. Give me another one. Give me another one. End off the map. Ah, that's okay. Victory. Flawless victory, I think. I didn't even think I died on this map. 34 and 0. All right, Zussia FPS mod. Double thumbs up. I got a new on it, so it must be a good mod, right? I don't know, but overall, I am pretty happy. All right, free for all sub zero time, and we're gonna go into the search bar and check out some of these mods. And of course, uh, there's one in the top left hand corner which will definitely get blurred out, but let's go and try it. It's called High FPS by Bobbita Bobbita Man 102. We're gonna go and load this bad boy, and this was like the original High FPS mod, the original, but. And as you can see, it is uh, a lot, lot different. We've got this granite texture right here, and it's definitely very different to what we just use. We've got somewhat simplified textures with this uh, granite stone and all of that. It's looking a little bit Minecrafty, but overall, there isn't too many modifications. The guns are still looking the same. There's no iron sight changes. The, the, the sounds are the same as well, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but overall, I don't really think there is much of a change and not much of a change with my FPS as well. But hey, new lobby, three minutes, let's go and kill some people and that guy twitched very hard. Alright, let's go and do some cheeky hacker baiting because I feel like this identity guy is a little bit uh, not legit. Alright, where are you? There you go, you're right there. Okay, now where is the identity guy? He's got a snipe over here. Alright, oh man, this identity guy is not legit. I thought he was hacking and I wasn't 100% 100% sure, but let me go and uh, let me go and confirm it right here. All you have to do is just stand right here. If they shoot you through here, then you obviously know uh, something's up because... Is he trying to shoot me through here? Alright, where's this identity guy? He's shoot- Okay, this guy is 100% uh, hacking. That's the hacker check. If they shoot you through there, then most definitely. Because why would you shoot there uh, at any other time? But hey, let's try to go and beat him. Let's go and beat this hacker at his own game. I know the spawns in this game. I know how to go and pre-fire. I reckon I can go and do something. All I gotta do is gotta pre-fire around this corner. And this guy's got no idea what's happening. He's gonna be spawning- Oh, I thought he's gonna be spawning here. There's going to be one guy down here. Yep. 18 kills. Oh. Oh, there's a sniper. We can oh, come on, man. Unfair. All right. So that mod was a little bit disappointing. But let's go and check out the Zap mod by Spiky John because of this mod, it goes and guts everything. And it, of all the mods in this, uh, in this video, this is most definitely the one that will go and give the highest FPS. Because as you can look here, we've got very, very low polygon, uh, very, very low polygon uh, weapon models. We've got the sounds are very, very low tier as well. Everything is at probably the worst quality that it can be at. And that that's a good thing if if you want to go and crank out the FPS. It reminds me of like very old 2000 games with the sounds and looks as well and it's kind of cool. With this weapon model being basically very very low quality, that means that when you go and uh, if you go and have your weapon model turned on or off, it's probably not going to go and make much of a difference. Personally, I like the weapon mo weapon model being on just so I can go and see who I'm shooting. We're on a 10 kill streak right now, we are dominating some people. I'm uh, taking a little bit low, oh my god there is people spawning everywhere. These sounds are very, very uh, comedic when I'm going and trying to get a nuke, but I reckon I can do it. I reckon I can drop the nuke and of course I get sniped. That's the thing when you go and use some of these mods, when the sounds are not as good, it's very difficult to go and tell where you're getting shot from. So I didn't know where I was getting shot from this whole whole mod because the sounds are very quiet and are very arcadey, like Gallagher and Space Invader and stuff like that. Five kill streak, 30 seconds left. I am dominating this lobby and getting a ton of kills. This is crazy. I might stay in it for another match. 
Let's go to the assault rifle and see how this one is. And as you can see, another blacked out model, making sure that it looks as uh, as low tier as possible, not going and rendering anything that is unnecessary. It basically strips out the unnecessary stuff from this mod, but I am just getting kills after kills right here. This is actually crazy. Hey, maybe does that mod does go and do something. I can definitely tell my FPS is a little bit higher than normal. Usually I sit around the 7, 780 range on Sandstorm. Now it's going up to maybe around 800, but I don't have any, you know, definitive testing for that. This is just my own personal experience. All right, Free For All Berg, a map I haven't gone and played on in quite a long time. And scrolling down here, I found this mod, Extreme FPS, 756 upvotes again, Free For All Little Town. Let's go and extract this, 284 things to download. So it must have, uh, must have something behind it. For, uh, we've got Free For All, we've got the Thumas, we've got random skin on, let's go and dominate. That's the thing with the Thumas, boom, one, you know, burst straight to the head of a sniper, they are done. So this gun does have a little bit of lethality if you're good at shooting and uh, I'm not I'm not the worst when it comes to assault rifles, but burst assault rifles are not my cup of tea I love the fully automatics like the AK. So this is gonna be um uh, Reply or I unsub reply or unsub he's late dude He's taken hostage of his subscription to my channel. Come on, man. All right taking out these guys six kill streak already Man the famous nuke potential or oh, there's a guy to my left as well where is he? Oh my god, that was a traffic cone. It was a traffic cone, and I thought it was something else. And with this mod, I actually like it. It's simplified, the sounds are the same, we've got that lack of iron sight, smooth textures, pretty, pretty simple, and overall, it feels like a lot of these mods are, you know, very similar versions of each other. Like, the Crucial mod was the one that started all. It had that smooth textures and the silence, and this one just changes a little bit. But going from mod to mod, what we can go and see is they all very much do try to do the same thing. They go and simplify the textures a little bit, maybe change the sounds, but overall, how much can you go and contribute to that to actual FPS increase? And I'd say very, very little. Maybe one, one and a half percent maximum. I don't think there would be a very, very significant increase uh, increase in FPS due to these mods. I know that's definitely difficult for some people, but that's just the reality of life. You don't go and get stuff for free, and you know, performance in Crunker and performance in video games is uh, another example of that. But with that said, hopefully guys enjoyed this video, and if if you did, make sure to go and smash that like button and click the link in the description below to go and download Brave Browser. There's also a tutorial on how to go and get unlimited FPS and I'll link that in the description below as well. How to go and uncap your FPS on Brave. Bye for now, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.